For many years, the bluebird was called the bird of happiness. Tiltil and Mittel left home to find the bird. I wonder what happened. The Bluebird. A brother and sister lived with their parents in a house in the forest. Their names were Tiltil and Mittel. One Christmas Eve, they couldn't sleep, so they began to talk. Brother, today is Christmas, isn't it? Christmas is tomorrow. I wonder if Santa Claus will come tonight. Just then, something strange happened. The children didn't notice that the lamp suddenly brightened. Then there was a sound of a door creaking open. An old woman, who looked just like their neighbor Bell, entered. Children, do you have a bluebird in your house? We only have a pigeon. Why are you looking for a bluebird? My daughter is sick. She says she'll get better if she sees a bluebird. Tiltil and Mita promised to find a bluebird for the old woman's daughter. Take this hat with you, then. Turn the diamond in the hat, and you will be able to see the invisible. The old woman disappeared after giving them the hat. Tiltil turned the diamond slightly. Suddenly, the lamp turned into a fairy of light. Tiltil and Mitel followed the fairy to the land of memory. Their grandparents were there. Hey, it's Tiltil and Mitel. Their grandparents welcomed them happily. When the children left. They gave them a bluebird as a gift. Tiltil and Mitel put the bluebird into a cage and left the land of memory. Goodbye, children. Grandfather, grandmother, goodbye. Then something terrible happened. As soon as they left the land of memory. The bluebird turned back. Tiltil and Mitil were very disappointed. They decided to look for another bluebird. This time, look in the palace of night. There may be a bluebird there. The children did as the fairy of light suggested. They went to the palace with their dog. And the fairies of bread and sugar. Please let us in. All right, but you enter at your own risk. The Queen of Night saw the diamond in Tiltil's hat. Only then did she open the door. Tiltil and Mitel entered the palace. They began to open the doors. One by one, in the fourth room, they saw a beautiful garden with hundreds of bluebirds. Brother, I found them. There are bluebirds in here. The fairies of bread and sugar helped the children put one bluebird into a cage. Then they all left the palace. As soon as the bluebirds saw the fairy of light. It died. Tiltil and Mitil went to the forest to find a bluebird with the empty cage. Ah,、oh, I'm so tired. I can't go any farther, Tiltil. It was right then that the trees began to shout. These are the woodcutter's children. What? The woodcutter who cuts us down. 
The trees and the fairies of the forest were angry with Tiltil and Meetil. The woodcutter is a cruel man. He cuts down trees and takes them away. You also came to hurt us, didn't you? All of you after them. Just then, the fairy of light appeared and called out, "Tiltil, turn the diamond in your hat." Tiltil quickly turned the diamond in his hat. All the fairies of the forest disappeared at once. Phew! We're safe. Thank you, Fairy of Light. Me too. Let's hurry. We must find a blue bird. Tiltil and Meetil set out once more. Soon they arrived at the land of happiness. Beautiful angels were dancing happily. Oh, it's mother. It is really mother, mother. I'm an angel. My name is Mother Love. That's why I look like your mother. Angel, do you know where we can find a bluebird? There is a bluebird very near you. Near us? Suddenly, they heard their mother calling their names. Children. Children, time to get up. Mother, where's the angel? The angel? You must have been dreaming. Oh, mother, we couldn't find a bluebird. We have to show it to the old woman's daughter. At that moment, Belle, their neighbor, entered the room. I'm so sorry, ma'am. We couldn't find a bluebird. What? A bluebird? Isn't this a bluebird? Oh, oh, brother! Our mountain pigeon has changed into a bluebird. Tiltil and Meetil were very happy. They gave the bluebird to Belle for her sick daughter. Belle took the bluebird home. Then she returned to Tiltil's house. Thank you, children. My poor daughter became well the moment I showed her the bluebird. Belle's daughter was smiling shyly behind her mother. Tiltil took the bluebird from Belle's daughter. He wanted to feed it, but right then. It flew high into the sky. Oh no, my bluebird! As Tiltil watched the bluebird sail into the sky, he promised himself he would find it again. So, my friends, next time you see a bluebird, please tell it to go back to Tiltil. Yeah.